my name's Arlene Burnett. I'm part of the duo Behind Closed Doors along with Paul Newman. And this is the Ray Garden Project, which is our artist in residence program. Yeah. So for every three months we have a, a new artist in residence comes down to the space and kind of creates work in response to the site. we um, been running for a couple of years. I think when we first got it, myself and Paul as Behind Closed Doors, along with another artist, Leon Trimble, put on our, our own installation within here where we sort of cleared the site. It was an overgrown space, has been for about 16 years, nobody sort of been using it. Um, put on our own installation where we cleared the site, brought in shipping containers, made a sculpture out of them, put all the work that we'd made in response to the site within the containers. And then after we'd done that, we decided that um, we now had this beautiful little space that had kind of been, sort of, like I said before, unused. Nobody was using it, and it was a shame to kind of let it go back to that state. So we invited other artists to come in and do their artworks. I can tell from the accent that, like myself, you're not from Birmingham. <laughs> And outsiders sometimes have the wrong idea about the levels yeah. of creativity in the city. Is it something that surprised you when you, you came to live here? Yeah, I, I, coming to Birmingham was not sort of a, a, um, a sort of choice. I, it kind of was something that kind of happened. And I'd kind of always heard things about Birmingham. And at first I found it quite a hard city to kind of fit into. But then realised there was such a lot of really interesting stuff happening and going on here and also room for other things to happen and be and create things to go on here so which is why I've stayed actually so I've probably been here about 10 years now after sort of a, a sort of temporary visit um, yeah my name's Paul Newman um, I work with Arlene Burnett on the behind closed doors Ray Garden project I met her doing a, a master's in fine art degree in 2004 um, I do my own artwork which is a mixture of performance and painting and as well, I work with Arlene collaborating, running this, this artist project space. Uh, we've been, like Arlene has just mentioned, together for about two and a half years working on this space, and we've done our own art projects previously. I mean, Arlene and I are just one example of a number, a number of artists who've been working for quite a while in the space. Um, there's a lot of kind of potential with the buildings and the lands around here, and there's a lot of artist groups which have a really high level of professionalism and also inventiveness in, in, in a really kind of broad range of like visual arts programs from performance, um, conventional painting, sculpture, collaborative art projects with uh, students and community groups. Um, and a lot of these projects have, have kind of got off the ground, off their own back, uh, found their own spaces and, and put together really innovative and sort of quite diverse and challenging programs together. And I think there'll always be that core. Uh, uh, around and that, I think it, it creates a really good balance between the more established sort of art venues like Icon Gallery and, and the museum as well. So I think what Birmingham has got is a really good uh, broad range of from different kind of grassroots to independent projects to, to more established funded museums. No, it's, it's great. I mean, and I think it, it gets over the idea that culture and art—it's not just about the big organisations like the CBSO and the Royal Ballet Company, which are absolutely all wonderful. It's also about the small little organisation, the quirky little organisation. I mean, you think this a thin sliver of land with the, uh, the River Ray on one side and light engineering factories on the other side, and then the behind us over there, we've got the, the railway bridge, and this, you've got this little green oasis with these artists doing these quite, you know, left-field type art projects. I mean, I think it's wonderful. 